Back here at home now, Chelsea Ingram is tracking yeah. a little bit of a system herself here at home. That's right. Actually, two. There's one tonight and then another one that may be a little bit more concerning as we head into Wednesday. It's winter. It's still winter. Mm -hmm. In fact, remember last year, Jan, in March, we had like four nor'easters. Don't that remind me. I know. I'm not going to remind you. Yeah, so, you know, March can, you know, come in like a lamb or a lion. We'll see what happens. But 27 degrees right now in Philadelphia. It's 17 in Mount Pocono, right around 28 degrees in Atlanta. City. We have high pressure and control for now. Brought us a really beautiful day yesterday. We topped out at 50 degrees. Here's an area of low pressure that's going to be impacting us as we head into tonight. So we'll see this high kind of pushing on out. This low moves in. As a result, today, clouds are going to increase out ahead of the system, but we still maintain a dry air mass throughout the day. So the weather really should not get in the way of any of your plans that you have throughout the day. This evening, that's a little bit of a different story. We could be talking about some slick roads really from I-95 and points north and west starting out with some snowfall in the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos. But as we advance in time, we'll start to see some warmer air working its way into the picture and look what happens. This rain snow line pushes more to the north and we start to see a change over to rain in places like Upper Bucks County. We get all rain though down into South Jersey and into Delaware. So really not uh, too worried about wintry weather precipitation in these locations like Millville, Atlantic City, and Wildwood. You get what I'm saying here. But we do have a winter weather advisory. That's in place for points north and west. Goes into effect starting at 9 o'clock tonight, lasting through 10 o'clock on Monday morning. So this does include Berks County, portions of Upper Bucks, the Lehigh Valley, and then all the way up into the Poconos. As far as snowfall amounts, really not anticipating much. Maybe a coating to upwards of two inches up into the Poconos, maybe a coating to one into the Lehigh Valley as a possibility. But you can see from Philadelphia south and east, really not expecting much of anything other than rain. Maybe a little bit of a mixture here and there. Ice potential also best chance to the north and west. We could see a light glaze, and that's the reasoning behind that winter weather advisory that's been issued. For today, sun to late day clouds. Look for high around 41. Again, that's colder than yesterday, but overall a very nice start to the morning, just chillier. In the Poconos, hit the slopes. Another great day for that. 33 degrees late day clouds and then a snow shower possible later on this afternoon as that system edges closer and closer to the region. Down the shore today, you can look for high around 40 degrees. Morning sunshine, that's going to be followed by increasing clouds as well. Here's your eyewitness weather seven day forecast. So as you're looking at this graphic, your eyes might be drawn to Wednesday. That's because we got some snowflakes on that day and we are talking about a better chance for some wintry weather. I'll talk more about Wednesday system coming up in the next half hour. Jan. Chelsea, thank you.